hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old yet thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a cross overnight flyer like this in photoshop so let's get started then go to your file select new then i'm going to use 1080 by 1080 inches i mean pixel then ensure your resolution is 300 then you click on great here is our working background and these are the resources i'm going to use in this tutorial then i'm going to import this background you bring it down then scale it a little, then drag it down. Okay. Then Ctrl J to duplicate it. Then flip it vertical. Then you take this one up. Then merge it together. Then you position it well. Okay. Now apply this U and saturation. Then enter plus one two one. Then enter plus one hundred then enter minus 83 okay then i'm going to create a new layer select your brush select soft round brush Then this is the color code I'm going to use. Then you copy it, Ctrl plus C. Then go to your color. Then you paste it, Ctrl plus V. Then increase your brush a little. Then while you apply it over here. All right. Now go to your infect, then apply bevel and emboss, then apply this setting here, then why I cancel it because I want to increase the size of my brush. So after you have increased your brush, then you apply it. Then go back again. So you can see the infrared that is appear over there. So these are the settings I use. So you can adjust this one if you want to increase it or decrease it so everything is here all the code i use there is here so you can copy it from that place then and then input it then come over here this is the contour i use Then I'm going to increase the size. Then 
Okay, like this. So the next one, I'm going to bring this light effect. Then change it to overlay. Then reduce the opacity to 44%. All right. The next thing now, I'm going to import this image. Then you drag it up. Then reduce the opacity to 17%. Then I'll position it inside the cycle there. Then apply layer mask. Now clean up these areas. I'm going to clean it around. All right. Then now import this light again. You drag it up. Change it to screen. Position it the way you will like it then apply your layer mask then you select your brush or your gradient tool you blend the bottom here Then import this paper, you scale it out, now go to your blending mode then you change it to divide, then I'm going to reduce the opacity as you see, now you leave it 100%. It's okay. Then rotate it. Scale it out. So then reduce the size position in the area you will want now we are going to our test now control plus c to copy then control plus v to paste I'm going to use the font Bebas. Then the character space should be zero. If you want to open the character space, you can open it, but I will leave it this way. Then reduce it a little. 
I will leave it this way. Then use your arrow key to move it closer. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. Ctrl V. Now increase the character space by 620. Then reduce the font size to 7.34%. Now centralize it vertical. Ctrl plus D to deselect. So what I'm doing, I want to adjust the background. So after selecting it, I use my arrow key to move it up. Okay. Then reduce the character spacing by 0%. Then change the font to errors. Then you copy it. So increase the font size to 18.05. Now I'm going to group the background. Okay. Now I'm going to apply this effect. So I'm not changing the setting. It's the same setting that I'll be using. So yeah, the other line are the setting used for the text. So you can see so here are the code and the same contour then you rotate it Then go back to your test again to copy Ctrl plus C and Ctrl plus V to paste. So I remove the zero bar, then apply a space, then you scale it out. Then apply vertical alignment. So change it to screen. Then you reduce the size. Then rasterize it. Pick these tools. Then you highlight it. Then delete it. Ctrl plus D to deselect. Then you reduce the size and position it at the middle there. Okay.
then go back to your blending option and apply the same setting then and the shadow so the shadow setting is there then the 2022 apply shadow to it then you click ok do now you duplicate it ctrl plus j then you drag it down these fonts i'm going to change these fonts to pepsi So you can see the font now. Now increase the size. Or I will leave it like this. Why I will reduce the center design. Then pick your test tool, then you create a space. Now select the design and increase the size. Okay, like this. Then reduce it. okay increase it a little then you drag it up make sure you centralize it now select this one double click to alight it ctrl plus a then change the font to pepsi then go back to your test then you copy your test ctrl plus c then ctrl plus v to paste then increase the size of this one use your arrow key to move it forward and up It's okay. Adjust the design over there. Then I'm going to change this one to errors. Then go back to your test to copy. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then go back to your test again to copy the color code. Then select the color. Ctrl plus V to paste. Now I'm going to copy the layer style. Then click on this one. Then paste the layer style. Then now rotate it. You position it well increase the size okay now you bring this light then change the blending mode to screen. Go to your filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Then input 16.6. Then OK. Clean over this area. Round. All right.
If you want, you can increase the size of the light flare. The next thing now, I'm going to bring this icon. Then I will place it around here. Then go back to your test. Then Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your test to Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to close the character spacing by minus 140. Then I will change the font to Eras. Then apply superscript to D, ST. Now increase the size while holding your shift key. can see that I normally apply zoom in and zoom out so that I will see how it look like then change the font to Bebas then I'm going to increase the character spacing by 280 Then you drag it below the dates. Now reduce the font size. All right. So after grouping it. Then go to your resources and bring this icon for time. Reduce the size. Then I'll position it somewhere around here. Then you drag it backward. Okay. Then go to your test, copy your time, then duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J, then you move it up. Now drag it over here, then Ctrl plus V to paste, then I'm going to align PM. Then go to your font size while you reduce it. Okay. Then you can adjust the character spacing. Okay, now that you are done with this one, so I'm going to group it, time, the next thing now is our location, then reduce the size of the icon, and I will position it over here, then adjust the size as you want. And circle like this. Now I'm going to copy the location test. Select your test tool. Then change the font to Bebas. 
Ctrl plus V to paste. Then reduce the font size. Then you close the space. You can use 9% or 8% depend your choice. Then bring this one down by using your arrow key. Circle like that. Okay, now you group the location and rename it. So we have come to an end of it. So that is all. Thank you so much for watching. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, then share it. And don't forget to comment. I really appreciate your following. Thank you so much.